the cabin itself is the replica of the first school Ooh. that O.B. Smith uh, built, and he was the founder of our city. So all this stuff started in here in 1941. I looked it up because the first registration book is April of 1941. I am Catherine Mack, and I am a curator at this Smithland Log Cabin Museum. Opie Smith came here from New York and he brought his family because he loved the valley. He loved the river. And so he started building and he was the master of everything. And then school started in his home. And it got so big that he built a cabin. So this is the replica of the first school. In our cabin, we have primitive farming tools. We have old guns. We have artifacts from the river basin and from the Indian hill of the Indians that went through here at that time. Oh, we have just everything. We have things that have brought in from our older settlers and our older people. Years ago, it was started by the ladies of the church. And the cabin was here and we took upon ourselves to making it into a museum. The cabin has been in operation for 75 years. And so down through the years, it's become kind of like a one-person deal. And I am left here, but because I don't want it to go down, I struggle to stay afloat, but you know, God is with me and when I come down here, we work together. And today I think it's probably in the best shape that I've seen. And I, I need help, and I'm seeking help. I want to keep it going. And of course, the main, the probably the main thing, not to us, but to the Smith family. Oren B. Smith founded our city, and I think that every one of his family has been through here that are living. Now I'm catering to the nieces and the nephews and the great nieces and the great nephews. And it has been a joy because they have come from California, they have come from Washington, they have come from all over and, uh, and I, I just love showing it and they just love seeing it. And they just love to see what their descendant had done for our city.